What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and if you've been following me for a while you remember I shot a video where I shared with you the three things I regretted not getting included in my Hellcat Red Eye when I bought it. One of those was the red SRT seatbelts. The other thing was the sunroof and I've decided forget about it. I can live without the sunroof. But the other thing was the stereo system. So I got the crappiest stereo system Dodge offers on this car and I have since wildly ridiculously and obnoxiously upgraded this stereo system to something that is just amazing and I'm very happy with it. I love it and I and it's versatile. I can take the speakers out or I can put them back in if I need the the trunk space or whatever. So it's just it's really really cool. So check out those videos. But today I'm going to show you how to get these seat belts done for right around 300 to 360 bucks. But in order to do that, you need to first remove your existing seat belts. Now I'm only going to do the front seats at first. I'll do the back seats later, but I'm just going to do the front seats now and I'm going to show you how to take out the seat belts because first you have to ship them off and then they will get shipped back to you with one of the amazing cool colors that are offered. I'm going to show you those too because I'm kind of torn on which color I want to put in there. I think I know which ones I want, but I want to get your input also in the comments below. But first, let's roll that intro. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. First, I just gotta tell you, I've spent the last you know three, four weeks really digging in to see if this is a job I can take on myself and not completely screw up my car. That's always the litmus test. If I think I'm gonna break something and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna end up with a whole lot of parts all over my driveway and I'm not gonna be able to put them back together, I stop and I'll take my car to the shop and get it done and I'll pay the money. The thing is, is what I'm finding is a lot of this stuff, especially on this car, it's pretty easy to do. They've made this car really easy to dismantle and really easy to put back together. And thank goodness for other YouTubers who have already went down that trail to figure out how to do these things. Um, people like Work Play Drive, check out his channel. This guy is amazing. He's taking his car apart, putting it back together just to help us figure out how to do it. And this is where I learned how to do this. So I'm gonna share this with you as well because I want to inspire all of you to do this work yourself. And here's what I found through uh, Workplay Drive is seatbeltplanet.com. This company is awesome. What they will do is they will reweb your seatbelts for around 300 to about 360 bucks, depending on the webbing that you choose and the color. They have some specialty colors and then the standard colors. And they have a ton of colors that I'll put on the screen right now. And what happened is I wanted the red belts, but now that I see all the different options, I want something different and the color that I've selected is the black with the red edges um, or the red I mean I'm torn you know I originally wanted red but god that black with the red edges is just nice and it's subtle so comment below let me know what you think I should do but if you look at all the different colors I mean if you've got the, the green Dodge colors or blues I mean they've got the seat belts to match and I think everybody would love to have their seat belts matching their car it'd be really cool I mean I have black so it's like I just want a little bit of color in there for you it's pretty easy to do so all you got to do is go to seatbeltplanet.com now if your car is a 2019 blow right there it'll say select your vehicle select which car it is and you can just go through the process it's really simple for 2020s I was having a little trouble so you just got to click the menu and then click vehicle specific seat belts go down click dodge and then it'll give you all the different dodge variants um, challengers chargers etc click on challenger select the color you want how many belts you want and then click add to cart and then go pay you'll get an invoice remove the belts and then put them in a box with that invoice and that order number send them off and a few days later they ship them back to you all done you just got to put them back in that leads into i'm going to show you now how to take these belts out and then putting them back in will be just in reverse. We'll do that in another video. Let's get started. 
All right, here's the tools you're gonna need. Phillips head screwdriver, your socket wrench, a T50 Torx bit, got an extension pole just in case, and your interior tool. Let's get started. All right, first things first, we're gonna disconnect the negative battery cable because we're gonna be messing around with electrical stuff that's tied towards safety issues. Last thing I want is an airbag exploding on my face while I'm doing this, although it would make a great video and I'm sure it'd get a lot of likes and shares. Um, we're not gonna play that today. By the way, how awesome is that installation job? Oh man, I'm proud of that. All right, so let's disconnect this. All right, so what I learned on Workplay Drive's video is to remove this back seat so that it's easier to work in here. So I'm gonna actually do that first because psychologically it's gonna make me feel a little bit more confident with this entire process. So to do that, you're supposed to get in here, grab underneath here, grab underneath here and pull and look at that. And it comes out super easy. If you don't do this, you can still do it, but it's gonna be a gargantuan pain in the rear. All right, next, gotta reach down here and pull up this little rocker panel thing here. Then that exposes this screw. And get used to these clips, they're everywhere. So when you hear these loud sounds, they're not breaking things, generally, even though I'm pretty good at breaking things. Now we gotta loosen up, actually take out that screw. Now I'm notorious for losing things, so I am going to put it right back where I found it before I lose it. It's a little pro tip, folks. I learned from Workplay Drive. All right, now that you've done that, you just gotta reach in here and start popping this out. You can do it with your hands. No. Oops, sorry. First pull this out. Set that aside. And this should just pop pop right out. Feel free to give it a little extra push at the top because there are some clips deeper in there. All right. I don't care who you are, you're gonna feel nervous about this because I certainly do. Whew. go oh that gives me so much anxiety <laughs> I don't care who you are <laughs> see by taking the seats out it lets this thing move around and then you can easily get this thing a little more out of the way and I don't want to take too much of it out but I want it out of the way so that I can get down here and get this seat belt assembly removed which with this out it's gonna be a lot easier Oh God, I don't care who you are, that's stressful. Now, now you can mess around in here, take all these guys out, send these to Seatbelt Planet, pretty easy. Nothing's broken so far, woo! All right, so now you got this thing rolling to flex. It's still gonna be connected way at the back. Now I'm taking something, and don't talk shh, crap in the comments, but just to keep it propped open. Don't overthink that, folks, but that will help me mess around here and here. Now this is the plug you've got to remove to be able to remove this thing, and that's why I disconnected the car battery. And then we'll take our Torx bits and get this thing out. But there's a little, a little lock on here that you've got to pry loose. There you go. Pop that little lock out. So the best thing to do, get really close up in there. Best thing to do is get the screwdriver, get it up there and just pull out. And it'll just pull, yeah, I'll do it for you. I don't wanna do it again, but just pull it out. And when you do that, then this plug should just unplug just like that. If that makes sense. See a little lock? That's how that works. All right, now, Let's take these seatbelt assemblies out. All right, so let's get these Torx bolts out. Start down here at the bottom. Move this out of the way. 
and loosen this guy up. Let's see if I can get you guys some light here. Alright. Grab this thing. Take that out. Now, suggestion is to pop this washer out. Not the Seapult plant, it won't re re uh, return it to you, but it's one more thing to get lost in the shipping. So, take both of those, and here's what you do. Put them right back where they were. That way when you get your seatbelts in, you don't have to try to figure out what goes where. So now we've got that done. This thing is all the way out. Now let's take these two up here out. And then remove that and we'll be done. I've got my finger, finger loose. All right. So you can see this has kind of that blue green Loctite on it. I hope you remember that's the top, but again, I'm putting them right back where I found them so I don't screw up later all right bolt number two on top so there's a little washer back here holding it in try to pull that guy off of there there wasn't one on the other side so, little surprises, no big deal. Put that down there. So now we just gotta take the bottom one off. And from what I understand, there's a Phillips head right here. And then, Torx down, whoops, there it is, down here. So I don't know if you could see that. Let's get in there. Right there, another Torx, another Phillips head, and then we'll be done. All right, let's take this little Phillips head out from the top. All right. Got that one. Put that down here too. You know what? Before I forget, I'm just going to take these and stick them right back where they were. Again, safest way to go one back there all right now let's get the last torx bit at the bottom remove these seat belts once and for all all right that one's tighter than the other ones <laughs> there you go now lift this up, there's little hooks right there, and your whole seatbelt assembly is out, party people. That's how easy this is. I mean, I was agonizing. Oops, that was not good. I was agonizing about how this would go. This is what you're gonna send to Seatbelt Planet. Pretty cool, right? And they'll send everything back to you. Properly done. Now, I've heard you should take this off, save this here. Less things to get lost in the shipping. All right, now we just gotta do the other side, put these in a box, get them shipped off tomorrow, and we will have some new seat belts, hopefully by the end of the week. All right, so I set a timer on my phone. Let's see how fast, oops, let's see how fast we can do this start to finish. Let's see if I can maybe not block out my camera with this light, but still get you guys some good light, so. All right, so first things first, remember, we're gonna reach down here, pull this guy out, up, undo this screw. I'm gonna do this first this time. It just seems a lot easier. I'll take this Torx bit, this Torx screw out, whoops. There we go. Put 
that off pop out the washer done pop this off whoops pop this off there you go don't lose that now you got this loose my hand there we go there we go now you take these two I'm gonna start with the back one this time it's a little way you learn where things might work a little bit easier all right here's what I would suggest once that's finger loose don't take it all the way out because this thing likes to flop around on you when you do and get the other one all right now I can get them both out my finger so I don't have to worry about the flopping around of this metal piece the other one now what I learned on the other side is you should take out this Torx bolt down here first that way this is still hanging it up even though these are hanging it it just got a little wobbly last time so and here you've got a wiring harness kind of in your way but let's see if I can get in there oh this might be where I need to get that extension maybe let's see yeah all right so this side the extension is going to help you all right got a little three inch extension here so that should make it easier to reach this torques down here Oops. I mean you could do it if you had to without it but it's going to be harder this thing reversed on here no it didn't all right Holy shnikes. What? Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, that's... This one, super tight. But I got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Now, let's take our screwdriver. Phillips head. Pop this guy out. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget the plug, which over here is on the other side. This plug, which is going to be harder because it's on this side. But remember, you got to just get in there. I don't know if you can see. Got it. Got it. Got it. So just get on the tip top of it, and it'll pop right up. But just seeing it on that side is a little hard. And then wiggle that thing out. Whoops. There you go. Grab your seat belt. All right, that's it. We're done. So I'll show you how long that took in a second. All right, so it's about 15 minutes aside. Um, and I'm a total amateur. Anybody with even the slightest more experience could do it in probably half the time. So it's not as convoluted and involved as you would think. Um, but I know someone out there has the question, which is, Okay, you plugged your battery back in, and now, do you have any warning lights on your dash? And yes, I do. I have the airbag, service airbag light on, but that is to be expected because I unplugged those wires. Once I plug those wires back in, everything should go back to normal, and I will show you that outcome next week when I get the new belts back in. Also, my Uconnect completely went back to basic factory status i lost my satellite radio i have no more reverse camera that will freak you out but just know give it a couple hours out in the driveway and all that stuff will come back so let me know what color you think i should go with because tomorrow around noon i'm shipping off these uh, belts so this video should be up tonight so hopefully it's in time um, but i'm going i'm 99 sure I'm going with the black with the red stripes on the sides. It's subtle. It'll look good if I do some other outside mods to the car. Um, 
but God, those red belts are still pulling me in. So tonight, if I change my mind, I guess we'll find out next week in the next video. So please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share this video, and I appreciate all of your support. Check out my last video where I took a fan and subscriber out for a drive. That was a really fun video, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, and I'll talk to you all next week. Take care. Bye.